Welcome back to the channel. One thing about AI is that it's always evolving quickly and it's almost hard to predict where it's going next. You have seen all over social media that AI's new chat GPT is actually taking the world by storm able to do to perform many tasks that previously we thought were impossible you know this is a react native channel so obviously we're gonna look at chat gpt and then we can look at react native how can it improve the way we code how can it simplify the way we build apps with react native in simple terms, Chat GPT is a big jump from GPT-3 as GPT-3 itself was a big jump from GPT-2. So this is more of like a large language model. Currently, as of 13 November 2022, it has been open to the public. So that's why we're able to test it out. So I will put a link to this blog, which explains a bit more about ChatGPT and also how you can get started with it. It also states as well and notes how it's been trained, but that's not the main topic right now topic right now it's how can we use it with react native if you're new to the channel i post videos about react native i post videos about interesting things happening in the react native space and also really cool tutorials on how to use react native previously i posted a video on how to integrate DALI 2, OpenAI's DALI 2 API with React Native. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description and also you can just click on the link which appears on the top right corner right now. Okay, let's head to it. So the first thing you have to do now is that you have to first create an account with OpenAI. Normally a simple process, you can sign in with Google or Microsoft or you can even provide your own email. It's normally a simple process, I won't show that here. And then after you log in, you can just go to this URL, which is also in the description, which is chat.openai.com slash chat. And you can see that you presented with the screen, which just gives you examples and capabilities and the limitations of of uh, chat GPT. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna pretend that I'm writing a React Native app and then obviously when you're writing a React Native app there are f functionality that you want and you will normally just first Google go to Google and then check if is there a library you can do that and then after you find that library you go through the comments and see it's like it's a long process um, but now I'm gonna use chat GPT to solve one of those things so let's say for example we want to check if a device like if an app um, has network connectivity we all know that you'd probably use net info and then do something with it to check if is there network connections for, for your app so let's do that so I'll simply write here it's just a simple prompt which says basically I'm asking I'm asking uh, just okay so I'll just say how to check if a React Native app 
is how to check let's say how to check if a device is connected to the internet with react native press that button there so off the bat we we can see that some really interesting stuff is happening over here so we can see that it's go it's giving us a prompt on how we can actually do this check that we want but one thing you can notice right now is that it actually comes up with, with an instruction on or steps that you can follow to see how we can actually check if a device is connected to the internet. If you ask me, this is pretty safe. So right now, like li literally you can have a full app utilizing this logic. This is pretty cool if you ask me. And we can simply copy this code and paste it in our React Native app. So let's see, there's another prompt as well, which is asking the very same thing as well. But you can see in this one again, it's also giving a variation of the same prompt. It's still asking whether to check if like a device is connected to the internet. It's giving us instructions on how to do this. This is actually next level and it actually simplifies the way we do things. This is pretty cool. And for React Native developers, this is actually next level because now with less code, with, with less coding, you can actually do more. That's pretty cool. So let's check another prompt and see how ChatGPT plays out when it comes to React Native. So like now I'm gonna ask another question as well. This time it will be how to send a file via Bluetooth. With React Native. So it's important that you also just write React Native, but even though like, uh, the chat itself can hold in memory whatever you, you are typing. So let's see what we're giving that. And you can see that it's actually giving us real instructions on how to actually implement this. And one thing which I'm finding interesting here is that we actually get the, the prompts that we're having there and then telling us how to install the lib different libraries that we, we need and then it's giving us instructions and this is like code that we can just simply copy and paste in our in our VS code and then write in the app for the same prompt I'm just searching it again and we can see now that we also getting the same instructions and it actually goes into detail on how we can use it and what are the different libraries that are there which is pretty cool if you ask me and then even here we can just simply copy the code and then paste it in the VS code in VS code and then it will simply like it will be the files like everything that you want it will be here so this is pretty cool and then third and, and finally we're gonna ask it now how to integrate DALI 2 API to React Native. So just like simply asking how to, how to integrate, uh, how to use uh, uh, OpenAI's DALI 2 API in React Native. Remember that we, we've, we've done, I've done a video on this one, on this topic, and there might be some instructions which are not pasted here. So which I did go in detail when I was doing my 
my video or my tutorial which is of which is in the description right now so i'll just simply paste in the same query and then and then i'll just simply say search and just see what, what we get and then it's if actually giving us instructions like right now Yeah, so it's actually giving us instructions on how to integrate uh, DALI 2 API with React Native. And then it's just simply showing examples. And then one thing about, one, one thing about um, like this AI code generation tool, sometimes they're not as accurate as one would hope they are. And for example, this one of the reasons, like you'll probably st struggle a bit with uh, actually going directly with this prompt but this is actually as it is it's also kind of like usable so we can actually use it as well but then there's some things that uh for example they don't tell you for example you must install like a real native uh, polyfills but we don't get that here of which i do note in my tutorial that i released uh, previously so I asked the same prompt again with Dell2 and this is the response that I got, which is almost the same resu results, but then here it's just more in detail. So that you can see that everything that you hear is also giving you the code as well, which is pretty cool if you ask me. The only difference here is that it has the context of React Native because I've been asking it about React Native in this chat. So that's the only difference when compared to this one but at the end of the day both of both in instances are actually giving us correct re results so i'll post all the results that i got into a text file and then put it in the descri description as well but i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this if you want me to code out a full react native app using only gpt uh chat gpt, chat gpt let me know like i said it's been a pleasure cheers y'all